Today's video is sponsored by Dwell. More on them later. Welcome back to another video. About two years ago now, you may or may not remember this bathroom was one of the first spaces I renovated here in my home. It was one of my biggest projects at the time that involved actual renovation and even building. To try and keep costs as low as possible, part of the renovation involved refinishing the shower. I didn't want to spend the money, nor was I confident enough to tackle rebuilding a brand new shower. Most of y'all who watched it wanted me to come back at some point and let you know whether it held up or not and if I'd do it again. Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to be refinishing the shower once again. So you probably have your answer that it did not hold up all the way. Here's what the shower looked like almost two years after I refinished it. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of wear primarily down at the bottom on the pan. There's quite a few spots where the paint has peeled and is now missing. Before I can refinish it, I have to give everything a really good clean. Now that I've already dried it, I am going to continue to let it dry thoroughly before I go in and start the refinishing process. I want to thank Dwell for sponsoring today's video and sending over their tub and tile paint, which is what I'm going to be using to refinish this shower. I've used Dwell's all-in-one furniture paint in the past, more recently, and I was very pleased with how smooth it applied and how durable it actually was and scratch resistant. So I have no doubt that this tub and tile paint is not going to disappoint and do a really, really good job. One awesome thing about Dwell's tub and tile paint is that it's formulated to have low VOCs and low odor, which makes it super ideal for projects indoors, just like what I'm about to do. From personal experience using other tub paints, the fumes alone were reason enough to never wanna make me wanna do it ever again. But this is a far more pleasant experience Experience because there's no need for extra ventilation or even a respirator like you have to use with other tub paints. It's also made of high quality acrylic resin for exceptional durability and resistance to flaking so that you are able to enjoy a long lasting result. Compared to other tub paints, Dwell's tub and tile paint cures in just 24 hours and completely dries in seven days. They offer a wide range of colors to choose from over on their website and it is a far more affordable option as opposed to actually renovating like replacing a bathtub, a shower, or even tile itself. I've done those projects in the past as you guys know if you've been following me for a while and it's no easy task. It does take time and it obviously costs more money and it doesn't require complicated installation or as much time as actual renovation projects do. So if you're in the market for a tub and tile refinishing kit, then check out Dwell using the link down in the description. Thank you again to Dwell for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get to painting. The first thing I did after cleaning the shower in order to prep it for paint was scuff sand the entire surface. As with any paint prep, you want to scuff sand to make sure you create something for the paint to grab onto. I just used the sandpaper the kit came with. The kit literally comes with everything you need so you don't have to worry about buying or needing additional supplies. I wiped everything down really good to remove any dust I created. And next, I covered any of the surfaces I did not want to get any paint on, which for me included the drain cover, faucet, and knobs. Now 
Next, you want to mix your paint with the hardener provided. You can actually mix the whole thing like I did or just mix a small amount at a time needed for each coat because once you mix the hardener in, they do say to use it within 12 hours. They suggest using the brush provided for corners and hard to reach areas and then the roller for flat areas. For me personally, I started off with the brush followed by the roller but quickly switched over to just the roller instead. It was super easy to spread it this way without any issues, so I preferred it. Just after one coat, you can see here on the pan just how good the coverage was. I waited the recommended two hour recoat time before adding a second coat the same way I did the first. That was literally all I had to do. It was super simple to use and my favorite part was the fact that I didn't tear up or choke on any fumes like with using a different kind. So here's a quick before and after of the noticeable difference. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and check out the full makeover of this bathroom if you haven't already. I love y'all, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!